something devastating happened. March 29th of 2022. I failed to get my instructional driver's permit. You're probably wondering why a video about a salad started off with a girl talking about how sad she was because she couldn't get her driver's permit. Let me explain. Basically, I was sad because I couldn't get my driver's permit and because I was sad, I wanted to make a salad so I could cheer myself up. However, I realized that I also needed to film a video this week, so I thought, why not make a video on the recipe of this salad? But then I realized it's not gonna make good content if I'm sad while making a salad. So instead, I'm gonna explain why I'm sad while making a salad. But fret not, viewers of moi, okay? Even though I am sad, I will still be professional and still deliver a very professional recipe video. So keeping true to my promise, I will list everything you need to make the salad before starting my story. You can substitute these items for whatever you please, but I will be using arugula, romaine lettuce, my favorite salad dressing, balsamic glaze, lemon juice, and cheese, specifically mozzarella ovalini. Or ovalini mozzarella. I don't know which order it goes in. Now, if you're gonna ask about portion sizes, hate to break it to you, but I don't have an answer. I don't measure when I cook. I don't have a recipe when I cook. This is actually the first time I'm gonna make this salad. You know what always works? Think with your stomach, okay, not your head. Whenever you're cooking something, only put in the ingredients that you would want to eat and the amount that you would like to eat, you know? So just think about it that way. I'm gonna start my story while I'm chopping my lettuce. Basically, I turned 15 and a half, March 29th, which is the day that I originally wanted to go and get tested for my driver's permit. I wanted to do it on that date because by California law, you need to be at least 15 and a half to test for your permit. And I wanted to get my permit as early as possible because I wanted to test for my driver's license on my actual 16th birthday. And after you get your permit, you have to wait six months before you can test for your driver's license, which would have lined up perfectly with my 16th birthday. Now, the reason why I want to get my license on my 16th birthday is because I want to get it not only as soon as possible, but also in like a really memorable way. And I know that sounds stupid to some of you out there who are probably judging me right now, but I got the idea from watching Good Luck Charlie, the like ex Disney Channel show, or not ex Disney Channel show, but like the show's no longer on air, you know? But anyways, I got my idea from watching that TV show. When I was younger, I was watching an episode where Teddy Duncan, the like main character of the show, she tested for her license on her 16th birthday and it was like such a special 16th birthday and ever since then I was like, oh my gosh, I really want that too. So ever since then I had the plan of getting my permit right when I turned 15 and a half so I could get my actual license right when I turned 16. Obviously that didn't happen or else I wouldn't be here right now. If you want to test for your driver's permit before you are 17 and a half, you need to first have taken driver's ed. Now let me explain, driver's education, right? I did this online course, it was super fucking tedious, I hated every second of it, but it was pretty easy and obviously it required by law, so I did it. Literally on March 28th, I spent maybe four hours working on that course just so I could finish the rest of it. And at the end of the course, they give you a certificate, right? The certificate shows obviously that you completed the course and that now you have completed the step of taking driver's education in order to test for your permit. Come to find out, even though the world is literally so modern and so like technologized right now, you know what I mean? Come to find out, they need to mail you the certificate. They don't just email it to you. I always thought that they would email it to me because like, duh, that's the like obvious answer. That's the quickest way everything would work. But no, it turns out they need to actually mail it to you. Obviously the mail wasn't gonna come overnight and I already had plans to go to the DMV on the 29th. So I was stuck in this really awkward position where I would be going to the DMV partially empty handed. 
I had all the other information I needed, which was just like my information, like my birth certificate, like fancy government stuff like that. I had all of that, but I didn't have my driver's ed certificate. But then I thought it would be fun if I still went to the DMV on the 29th because I did have like proof of completing the course, even though I didn't have the certificate. I could just log into the website and show the lady that I completed the course. You know, I had a notification telling me that the certificate has been shipped. I would just have to explain it to her that I didn't quite have it yet. So the next day, the 29th, I literally spent all morning getting ready, right? I took a shower in the morning, which I never do. I always take showers at night, but I took a shower in the morning so I would look fresh. I did my makeup really, really nicely and really, really like thoroughly because I was gonna be taking my ID picture. Like I was so excited for this. I even took time trying to fix my hair, which is something that I never do, all to go to the DMV later that afternoon. I get to the DMV, we get there maybe around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We were in line for like 30 minutes just standing there. And then finally we get to the lady and you know my mom has her own thing that she needs to do so she's there too so she explains to the lady her thing and then the lady's like okay like is there anything else you need? And then I go, yeah, um, I'm here to test for my instructional driver's permit. She goes, okay, and then we give her all the documents and she's like, okay, um, where's your driver's education certificate? And I tell her, oh, um, I actually don't have that. You know, I took the course, but they have to mail me the certificate. But here, I pull up my cell phone, I show her that I completed the entire course and I you know, show her the notification that says, oh, your certificate has been shipped. And at this point, like my heart is feeling like it's about to drop because you know everything that I had planned for, everything that I had hoped for might not work. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, please don't you know, make her say what I think she's gonna say. And she goes, we need the actual certificate. And I'm like, fuck. Apparently, the certificate has a little code on it and she needs to enter that code into the freaking website or system or whatever. I don't get why, like if I did the course, can't that just count? But whatever, it's the government, so I'm not gonna complain. Actually, I could, you know, freedom of speech. But whatever, right? On the bright side though, I do have a new salad spinner that I wanted to try out. So I could go ahead and get that for you guys. Basically, you just put all your lettuce in here. Oh my gosh, are we ready? All you have to do is click this button. this for okay but look I think that's enough but look there's a little button here and if I want it to stop I just click it is that so cool okay hold on my lettuce is still slightly wet but it's significantly drier than before so I think it worked I did probably equal parts arugula and romaine and I used maybe like two like they were pretty small but like two hearts of romaine next we can move on to the cheese which in this case it's ovalini it's this like huge ball you can use the mini balls if you want to i prefer the shredded version of this one and also because it's just so fun to shred and you can really make it as big or as small as you want after adding your cheese, you can add your dressing. I am using my favorite salad dressing ever. You can probably tell because of how empty it is. This is from the brand Girard's? 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 Jarrett? Okay, no, I don't think it's Jarrett's because there's no J or A. But look, it's like... I don't know if it's showing up, but it's like Gerard's, G-I-R-A-R-D apostrophe S. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's their Greek feta dressing, all right? You can probably find this at any grocery store with a well-stocked dressing section. It's pretty distinct. It's like triangular shaped, and I think it's made out of glass, but basically this is my favorite dressing. A little goes a long way, okay? So you really don't need a whole lot. 
Then you can add a little bit of balsamic glaze. This is some of the fancier stuff, even though it only costs $3.99 from Vons. It's a glaze made out of balsamic vinegar. So it's like sweet, but also it's made out of vinegar. So it's like slightly acidic, so like slightly sour. Sweet, but slightly sour. And you can add as little or as much of this as you like. And then you're gonna add the lemon juice. Now I know my lemons look like two wilted oranges, but trust me, these are lemons, all right? And surprisingly, they actually have a decent amount of juice in them. You can use as much or as little lemon juice you like, but I am a big fan of this citrus fruit, so I'm going to use two whole lemons. Oh my gosh, I literally love the smell of lemons. And for all of you who doubted me, look right now. Look at all that juice that is coming out, okay? No wilted orange is gonna give you that much juice. Now all you have to do is mix. I'm gonna break out the tongs. I usually just use a spoon, but I'm feeling fancy. Oh my gosh. Literally, I wish you guys could be here and smell it. Like it smells so freaking delicious. And hey, I mean, actually, if you make this recipe, then you'll get to smell it for yourself, right? Now, this is actually a step that you may think is quick and easy, but you actually want to take your time with this step because the more well that you mix it, the more well that your salad is going to taste. And that was definitely the wrong grammar, but the point still stands. More time mixing equals better salad. Like, look, see, I literally switched hands, all right? If your arm doesn't get tired from tossing your salad, then you're doing something wrong. Oh, that is delicious. Okay, hold on. And for any of you who are judging me right now, know that I'm only serving myself and my mother. So I have the most perfect bite right here, okay? I'm gonna give you guys a little look. There's arugula, there's lettuce, there's even mozzarella cheese on the other side, hold on. You see that cheese? That's arugula, that's lettuce bits all over. And do you see how it's glistening? Yeah, that's from the lemon juice and the dressing. I am literally so excited. Ready? Okay, no one's gonna tell me ready. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Holy shit, that was actually delicious it had like just the right amount of everything and it tasted like sour at first because of all the lemon but then there was like the flavors of the balsamic glaze and the dressing and then the salad was light and crispy the arugula was like really rich tasting and just made this whole thing seem a lot more expensive than it was not to mention the cheese bro the cheese so soft that's it guys, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. When I tell you that this salad is amazing, please believe me and please try this. Making this salad will be the best decision you've ever made. I honestly, genuinely think that. Please remember to like and comment if you thought this video was funny or helpful. You can subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Hopefully you learned something in this video, if not how to make a great salad, then as to why you should finish your driver's ed course before the day before that you are going to take your permit test. But that's it. Chill out, peace out, have fun. I'm on spring break right now, so I'm going to eat this salad and enjoy the rest of my spring break. Have an awesome day. Have all the great things in the world. Alright, goodbye.